Just walking out of the Samsung display event, and it's, it's pretty incredible. Pretty incredible, so hope you enjoy the footage. An adventure awaits, and you are invited to it. So what you just heard was the intro to the QD OLED experience for Samsung Display's private showroom in Las Vegas. I was lucky enough to get access to this tour and it was such a great experience and I'm so glad I get to share it with you guys. They let me film and I hope you will enjoy this video. What I'm going to do in this video is a little bit different. I'm going to play some of the tour audio so you really understand what's going on from Samsung Display, but I'm also going to pause and talk over some of the actual footage so that you can see some stills of the side-by-sides because I think they are really unique. And I think it tells a story about how far QD OLED has come in just one year. So I hope you enjoy this presentation of the second generation of QD OLED from Samsung Display. So this was our first generation, mm -hmm. and this is our second generation. I mean, this is a mock-up, and then if you look through this, mm -hmm. that's the actual blue OLED. You have to go in, yeah. The actual blue OLED. This we is light up. Blue OLED that's driving the panel, right? So here I'm going to show you a close-up of the blue OLED for the 22 right here. And then I'm going to go over now to the 2023. And you can see the difference clearly through the magnifying glass. And I was just kind of blown away at how they made that leap in just one year. It's wow. all about the high luminance primaries that I mentioned. And the color luminance is the same as white, which means our white is created with RGB only. And the color luminance on the white OLED is only 40% of the total white luminance. As you know, most of it is coming from the, um, the white subpixels. Yeah. Exactly. And then here you have the three together. So you have the traditional OLED, mm -hmm. so you have the 23 panel QD OLED, and the 2022. So what he's showing us now is the 2022 QD OLED on the left, the 2023 QD OLED in the middle, and on the right is a 2022 W OLED. It was hard to get a wide enough angle to shoot all three at the same time, so I'm going to focus mainly on the 2022 QD OLED versus the QD OLED for 2023 in the middle. We already know that 2022's QD OLED is a more capable display than 2022's W OLED. As you can see, the color luminance and the color purity just jumps off the screen for the 2023 QD OLED, and I don't know how they did this in one year. I'm going to pause it at certain times because it is shaky camera footage and I want you guys to just really see this as clear as possible so it'll be a mixture of footage right away you can really see the difference with QD OLED for 2023 it really does look like the color purity is just better overall you can see it with your own eyes I see it in so many different colors I'm seeing it here in the green and I'm also seeing it a lot in the blues and the reds it's just something else that they could do this in one year. And I know it's not like the same seeing it on video, but yeah, let's continue on with the tour. Next up, we were shown a cool little side by side with the W OLED next to a 2023 QD OLED. And you're seeing the artwork of Franco Fontana side by side. And you can kind of see the difference in color. Look at the yellow, for example. You can see that the W OLED is having a hard time replicating that same shade of yellow. I thought this was a pretty unique demo overall, and you could see clear advantages with the QD OLED in this demo. All right, let's move on to the next part of the tour. The next demo was a laser light capture where they took a camera and they were capturing a laser light in the back. The goal was to show which one would reproduce the image more closer to what it looked like in real life. And I thought that this was a cool example and you could kind of see the difference on camera, hopefully. QD OLED can faithfully uh, maintain the creator's intent. Another thing that I want to point out, now if you, we were not anticipating the sheen on the back wall. Mm -hmm. If you come close, you can see it. The light is reflecting. Yes. You won't see much of it here, but it's much more prominent. Really quickly, let me pull up these two side by side for you so it's easier to see. So what he was pointing out was the laser live capture would show that on the QD OLED you see a sheen coming off the back of the light and showing you that shadow detail and gradients. While on the W OLED you're not really seeing that it's being kind of crushed. They were telling us one of the biggest improvements with 2023 QD OLED was shadow detail and gradients. Still, there are some questions, is it accurate? Is it exactly what I'm seeing? Yes. And for that, what we have is calibrated QD OLED with a Samsung X300 
And of course, these are all calibrated. This is not playing in vivid mode. This is QD OLED. Then you have the X300 and the traditional OLED. Yeah. And so you might have heard in this clip, this next section is for the accuracy dudes. And I'm only going to briefly touch on this and show you some footage from the room. It was very dark in the room. So I'm going to show you the part where they showed us Spears of Munsell because that was kind of bright, easier to capture. Um, but when we saw all of the clips in this room, the QD OLED looked very similar to the X300 where the W OLED couldn't quite replicate that of a reference OLED monitor. So you guys know I'm not really into accuracy, so I didn't really care too much about this part personally, but I know people will be interested in this. So I wanted to make sure that I include it and there's always talk about can QD OLED be accurate and well, the answer is yes. The next one we saw was a cool demo with gaming in mind for 49 inch ultra wide gaming monitors for PC gamers. Now this was a QD OLED 49 inch ultra wide. It absolutely blew me away. I thought this was really cool. And seeing it next to a 49 inch mini LED ultra wide, it was like night and day difference. And yeah, the QD OLED just stood in a league of its own with gaming. And that's no surprise because I said it did that last year. So we know that Samsung Electronics is using QD OLED this year in the S95C and the S90C. The second generation is being used in both of those TVs. But if you're curious to see what other TVs Samsung Electronics has in store for 2023, check out this video right here.